All right, now my approach here to adding chromatic notes in my licks is actually very simple. All I'm doing in the way I visualize this as well is just by filling in the blanks between my scale shapes. So if we go back to our first pentatonic shape in the key of B flat real quick, instead of just playing this, I look at all the notes in between my scale shapes. So if we take the last string, for example, the sixth fret and the nine, I look at it as six, seven, eight, and nine are all the notes that I could use. Now, as long as I don't stop on any of those notes and I just use them as passing tones, then it's completely fine to use. So now instead of my scale just being like this, I can now do this. Now when I improvise, as long as I don't hold any of those notes, it's gonna sound pretty cool. Stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing here at the beginning when I'm starting that lick. Everything else is just basic pentatonics. With those two extra notes, I'm just filling in the blanks between those spaces. Cool?